Little Christmas, AKA the Epiphany, AKA Epiphania. When I was a child, I loved all the holidays because the adults in my life took joy in them and wanted to share that joy, especially my mom and her brother, Uncle Anthony. There was always something magical in those celebrations. It was Little Christmas and the crash where I first began to understand how holidays sustain family and culture. Uncle Anthony made the manger for my mother. He found sticks in the park and glued rough sand from Coney Island to the artistically uneven wood platform with straw and sticks for a roof. The wooden figures came from Italy unpainted. He later painted them and added straw to the baby Jesus' crib. He made a pack to be put on the camel and other such accessories. We were encouraged to add things, especially animals. One year, lions were among the waiting and protected the manger. The adults laughed, but at age seven, I wasn't trying to be ironic. After the feast of seven fishes and midnight mass, the baby Jesus was put in the manger. The children took turns doing it because it was considered lucky. It was under the Christmas tree, since we were Americans. The picture sent from Italy showed a dining room consumed by a nativity scene, but no tree. The wise men, magi, slowly moving their way to the manger, just past the piano now. Then came New Year's, with food and dance and the dropping of the ball if we were in New York City. Same, but with radio and more kisses, the year we were in Italy. The three kings still on the move with their camels and mules. Then came Little Christmas, or the Epiphany, Epiphania. Straw, sometimes vegetables, if straw wasn't readily available, was put out for the camels and mules, and whiskey for the wise men. Then more presents, food, especially the bread with the ceramic baby Jesus for a year of good luck, and a prayer to the Magi with chalk symbols above the door to protect the house. I'm sure an unsanctioned tradition. These things are still done in my family today. I have those objects now because to me it speaks of an approach to history and culture. The beautiful things that bind us are to be handed down, created anew, and added to from generation to generation. Let the outside world be part of, but not dictate tradition. I didn't realize what a lovely compromise Little Christmas was until I was an adult. Instead of deciding whether to keep their traditions or that of their new country, they found a way to incorporate both and created an abundance. Most of the abundance came from using their imagination, their creativity to enhance the situation and make it beautiful with the resources at hand. I give a party for the Epiphany every year with Uncle Anthony's crush center stage to celebrate that inheritance with all who are interested. Many friends from different backgrounds come to help us celebrate. It reminds us that immigrants don't take away but bring, like the Magi, great gifts.